Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington, and I am excited to bring what I have to you guys. I was honored to be able to go to Atlanta to visit the set of the CW's Black Lightning. Black Lightning re-debuts for season two on Tuesday, October 9th. I got a chance to be a part of the massive roundtable with about four or five other journalists, and we did interviews with every single series regular on the cast, yes. So we talked to Cress Williams, Christine Adams, Damon Gupton, James Remar, uh, China Ann McClain, Nafisa Williams, uh, Marvin Jones, and Jordan Calloway. We got to talk to them all about what season one meant to them and what they expect in season two. Now, I would have had this up for you guys earlier, but there's a lot of spoilers they gave away. And so I couldn't give you all that content, but I wanted to give you all what they thought. Uh, I apologize for some of the interviews where the camera either shut off and I had to go to just strictly audio and things like that. But nonetheless, oh, also, I got a chance to talk to showrunner and executive producer Salima Kiel. Didn't get video for that one, but it's a straight audio. I will let, let you guys hear that as well. So I have a lot of these coming up. It's going to be a nice long time for you guys. Enjoy a bunch of content. This is brought to you by myself and the people at Cinelinks.com. Thank you to Cinelinks for allowing me to be a part of this with you all and to be able to Trent to go to Atlanta to get this great have this great time to see the set of Black Lightning uh, to speak with the cast and I want you guys to enjoy it so I'm gonna kick it off with all these interviews right now issue of uh, both of us keeping secrets mm -hmm. you know it's um it, it it what's funny about it is it's where uh, Jennifer and Khalil's heart lies. It's it's one of protection, one of love. You have Jennifer where she's she's just trying to figure herself out, right? Both of them are. Let me start with both of them are starting with identity crisis. That's what they're they're, they're high schoolers. Mm -hmm. They're going through you know the teen angst, right? Except now you're gonna hold, go ahead and throw in super uh, special abilities into that. I mean, it's a whole nother world. Um, here you have Jennifer where she doesn't even understand her powers. She doesn't even understand like what she is capable of. She just sees the, uh, the reaction of that, which is destruction, which hurts people. Whereas with um, Khalil, he's realizing these special abilities where he's reacting in rage and how it's also damaged other people. But he's also realizing the situation, his surroundings with Tobias well, where it's like, crap, now I gotta be careful because I don't wanna bring anyone else into that. The, the, the thing about it is that they both fight against their heart's desire for one another. And from, from my character, for Khalil, his, um, his grounding, his, his, um, his rock, his north star, she, she's, she's mad at him, she's not talking to him. I mean, that's the love of his life. He can't help, he can't keep them wrong without knowing that they're on good terms, at least. He may, he may love her, he may want, uh, want to be with her, but at the end of the day, he, he just wants her to be okay, you know? And so, after the whole fiasco over at the uh, school, he, he has this sort of weight on him. He has this sort of uh, chip on his shoulder where he's like, then I caused this. Like, what have I become? He's been doing some self-inventory. Of like, what have I, how did I get here? You know, and I think that's a great question that a lot of kids can ask. A lot of us ask ourselves as well. It's like, wait, how did I get here? The series of choices that I made. And you're going to see a lot of that in the second season um, where he's realizing that. But he's going to fight back for Jennifer. He's, gonna, he's not going to quit. He's not going to give up. I mean, like I said, that's his, um, that's his foundation. Talk about, I mean, we had a chance to talk to Jordan already. Jordan. Um, you know, about this relationship. Mm -hmm. So tell us from your perspective kind of where things um, are going and where you would like to see them go. Because right now, you know, like Jordan is still mostly trying to fight for Jennifer because, mm -hmm. you know, he values her the most. I mean, outside of his family, but right. for the most part, right? Like, right. he values her the most. 
so he's really still trying to fight for Jennifer. Um, Jennifer still is just dealing with herself, like in a mm-hmm. lot of ways, like still just trying to manage herself. Right. So, um, what will their relationship be? Kind of, what does that growth look like from Jennifer's perspective? Because we already know what his perspective is, and you know, there are always two sides to to, mm-hmm. to a coin. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, we're pretty late in the season when it comes to filming, so, so yeah. a lot of stuff happens between Jennifer and Khalil. Um, <laughs> it's it's a very interesting relationship. Like, uh, I'm trying not to say too much, but they were friends before they started dating. Mm-hmm. So she cares a lot about just him as a person. She wants him to be okay. She wants him to be safe. Obviously, he's the opposite of that because he's with Tobias now. Right. But she cares a lot about him and you're going to see that and you're going to see that in her decision making a lot when it comes to later episodes in the season um and you were right when you said that jennifer is kind of dealing with herself at the moment she's like i don't have time for this i can't deal with anybody else i'm already dealing with a lot on my own and um to be honest going into the end of the season and into next season from my mouth to god's ears I would like to see her really get back to that because she has a lot of, like I said, care for Khalil and they do spend a lot of time together in in later episodes. But I want Jennifer to learn how to be okay with herself before she tries and focuses on anyone else. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed these interviews. I got the opportunity to be a part of questions that I ask, questions.